Disha, a dream come true. What happens when cutting-edge skills and excellence of governance is applied in the field of academics? A class apart, institute is born, offering world-class facilities, both in terms of academic abilities and excellent supportive infrastructure. This is what Dhirubhai Ambani Institute of Information and Communication Technology, DAIICT, is all about. With a mission to spread education, the institute was conceived by Sri Dhirubhai Ambani as its founder president 10 years back. With this vision at the helm, DAIICT has emerged as a pioneer, carving a niche position for itself in a very short span. DAIICT is located at the state capital Gandhinagar, Gujarat on an environment-friendly, beautiful campus. It represents the wave 4 of educational innovation in Gujarat. It pioneers in the field of information and communications technology, which is a very nascent addition to the engineering discipline and aims to prepare a new breed of engineers and technocrats to prove their worth not only as professionals but as responsible citizens too. The programs being currently offered by the Institute in ICT are BTEC ICT, MTEC ICT, MSC IT, MSC ICT in ARD and MDES. Of these, MSC ICT in ARD is a unique and the only PG level program in the area of agriculture and rural development with unfathomable potential in a rurally dominant country like ours. This institute is devoted to working in ICT and we thought that it is appropriate that we should do something for the agriculture and rural development sector where the opportunities are great. A typical rural mass in India is deprived of vital information in various spheres, which is otherwise so important in improving their livelihood. With this new class of young and vibrant professionals, the issue can be effectively addressed. It has been a challenge for us to develop this program because so far as we are aware, this is unique in the entire country. This program aims at preparing professionals who could use information and communication technology as a tool in developing innovative strategies and solutions, primarily in the areas of agriculture and rural development. To illustrate, it is a common practice in India to apply farming inputs like seeds, fertilizers, water, insecticides on a blanket base, most of the time resulting in huge wastes. This program of ICT in ARD addresses such issues by imparting knowledge of adopting modern technologies like use of GPS through satellite guidance, variable rate technology and the like. This should help infuse entrepreneurial and marketing skills amongst the rural masses, thereby creating a paradigm shift in their socio-economic conditions. DAIICT visualized the potential in this field very early and thus this program was started. MSC ICT in ARD is a two-year residential program and comprises three segments supplementing each other which are classroom, rural internship and thesis based on industry and research internship. The classrooms and lecture halls are well equipped with modern learning tools and specialized software. This program has not only given me the skill sets and the knowledge, but it has also given me the, uh, the platform to take up the future challenges. Uh, whatever I have learnt here, I want to apply all those things in the development of rural India. This implication of ICT in rural development, it can do miracles. If farmers develop, then the whole country will develop. Our course is a combination of so many disciplines. I would like to say that the learning atmosphere in DAICT is excellent. Lectures are supplemented with hands-on work in the fields which depicts in-situ measurement of meteorological parameters like wind velocity and direction, variable water distribution in the field, from sprinkler and in-situ canopy density measurement, using improved technology and equipment. Surely, 
a very interesting exercise for the students, all to help enhance decision-making process through effective management of information technology. Our student is a kind of a develop a niche area uh, by which they should uh, try to uh, find a place which are not occupied by anyone else. The institute has exceptionally well-qualified faculty with an ideal student-to-teacher ratio, perfectly complementing the course curriculum. The library, or the resource center as it is called, apart from offering state-of-the-art ambience, has innovative digital facilities, ensuring 24 by 7 availability of information. Issuance is aided by barcode system and even has exchange program with other major libraries. One is the rich collection of the books and journals. The operations are totally computerized. And we are also keeping the library open for a longer hours. All our lectures are like stored on our uh, servers and students can access the lectures from their uh, hostel rooms also. The hall of residence or the hostel has all the facilities one can ask for, including separate blocks for boys and girls. The atmosphere here is so calm and tranquil that helps working on the projects even on the stretched hours. After their curricular activities, they have got facilities like the sports uh, ground where they, have, uh, they can play hockey, they can play football, they can play cricket. We have got a state-of-art uh, basketball court uh, which is built to international standards. The institute also has a beautifully designed 24 hours cafeteria serving all types of delicious food at a very reasonable price. The viability of this program solely we don't measure or weigh on monetary terms, right? It's a small program, but still we have provided excellent facilities. The institute offers campus placements, aiding students to secure appropriate career opportunities and decent compensation. The alumni have successfully carved out a niche position for themselves in various government department agencies, agribusiness sector, NGOs and national and international agencies engaged in areas of agriculture and rural development. The ones who have grown and matured, in fact, I'd say they are good assets in this organization. They have groomed up well and they, they have added value to the organization. The eligibility for the program is a bachelor degree in science and engineering. With one year full-time work experience or a four-year professional degree with no work experience in the disciplines like agriculture and allied sciences, agricultural engineering, biosciences and engineering, forestry and fisheries. The total intake is 20 students and the process of admission is through entrance test followed by an interview. You may visit our website for the details. The true potential and demand for professionals in this field will be unfolded completely once rural India starts implementing information and communications technology in full swing. People who have the knowledge and the experience will be able to contribute in a much more significant way. So I see for the students you know, who join, not only a prospect of a bright career, but also a very effective way of contributing. All in all, this program from DAIICT is a roadmap in true sense indicating the right disha to aspiring young technocrats who wish to pursue a path-breaking career in agriculture and rural development.